Welcome back to Fulton, Missouri. James Stanley back with Logan Perone here on the Wood Sports Network as we tip off the seventh inning with the lead 7-1 to in favor of Lindenwood Belleville. Owls send out a new pitcher, Colin Kessler, in his first game at home of the year. Here's the 1-0 pitch that's popped up right side of the field. Gibbs in right charges in, now waving off Owen. He'll make the catch or out number one as Draffin is set down for the third time in this game. Colin Kessler takes over on the bump for Adam Grundon. His one inning of work, no run baseball, two hits, one strikeout, one walk. He did load the bases, but got a strikeout against Darius Ford. First time Ford's been retired on the afternoon to send us to the bottom of the sixth inning. But here we are back up to the top of the order with one away. The first pitch, a ball that eats up Gibson, gets to the backstop, and Kessler will continue to work. Kessler, a sophomore righty from Waterloo, Illinois, comes in at six foot five. Throws in the mid to high 70s in multi-sport athlete at Jabalt Catholic High School. Ground ball over to first base. Jones has it, but it eats him up. Skips into right field. That'll go down as an error. And the inning will be extended at least by one more batter. It's a rare error committed by Quincy Jones. He's such a solid fielder out at first base. So lanky, so long, able to pick up a lot of balls out of the dirt. Yeah, he kind of looks like your stereotypical first baseman. Tall, lanky, left-handed kid. And that one just skipped under him. And again, like you said, a rare mistake. So Kessler will go to the stretch with Collier at the plate. Runner takes off. He's safe at second. That pitch getting behind Gibson, just unable to pull out of his glove in time. First stolen base of the afternoon for Austin Fleming. With Bo Collier working with one out and... Lindenwood Belleville sitting 7-1 to one here in the top of the seventh. Now had Gibson had control of that ball, he might have had a shot at throwing out Fleming. The pitch. Fly ball deep into center field, but Brock is there to size this one up. He may try to gun down Fleming. He's running for third. Here's the throw into third base. A little too high, and Fleming's there safely after the fly out to center for Collier. Two gone now. And down to the last bullet for Lindenwood Belleville here in the seventh frame. That'll bring up Kellen Murray. He'll hit from the right side. One for four on the day. Has yet to score was thrown out at home by Alex Weimer on a great play back in the second. But the Owls trail it here by six and potentially are down to their final three outs in the bottom half of this inning. They are playing one seven-inning game today and one nine-inning game. And we came in thinking that the nine-inning game was this one, but... We've been told that that's been changed. This first game should be the seven inning game, but bear with us if we have that information wrong. Just know that we do have more baseball coming. This is only inning seven of 16 on the day. First pitch, a strike right at the knees taken by Murray. Murray playing the hot corner today for the Lynx. Come in 11 and 11 and six and four, fifth in the AMC. Kessler takes the sign with Gibson setting up right down the middle. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Outside corner just can't hit the black for ball one. Fleming at third base. He reached on an error from first, then stole second, advanced to third on the out recorded by Bo Collier for the second out of the inning. Owls trail at 7-1 here in the bottom, make that top of the seventh. Ground ball to shortstop. Weimer charges in. The ball eats him up. One more error on the inning, which will drive in Fleming. And now the score is up by eight for Lindenwood Belleville. I guess make that seven, eight to one. And that one, Weimer just going around it instead of trying to backhand it. Had his glove up too high, hit the lip, and didn't bounce as high as he thought it was going to. Couldn't get the ball in his glove securely, so run comes across the plate. The run will be unearned for Colin Kessler as Colin Stockley will come back up to hit for the fifth time today. Throw down to second, runner goes right on the money, but Weimer misses the ball. Or rather, that is Owen. Owen missed it, and another stolen base for Kellen Murray. Two stolen bases now in the inning for Lindenwood Belleville. But 8-1 to one your score. The Lynx on top of the Owls here, top of the seventh. Two down, runner at second base. And 
the cleanup hitter, Colin Stackley, at the plate. Kessler works back from the stretch, set from the belt, delivers. Sidearm, ground ball to shortstop. Weimer has it, takes one hop, throw over to first, in time for out number three. And that'll send us to the bottom of the seventh with the Owls trailing by seven. One run comes across on two errors, one stranded on base for Lindenwood-Belleville. We'll be right back. You're listening to William Woods Baseball. <laughs> 